Hi, we're Lou and Danny, and uh, we've been asked if we would just have a chat um, about surviving marriage in lockdown, um, the challenges that we face, and also the things that we do that help our relationship. So we've been given some questions, so we're going to go through these. Um, so the first question is, how long have we been locked down together, and how many days each week are we in the house? So we've been locked down, like most people, since the end of March. We spend broadly three to four days a week uh, together in the house as we both work as uh, key workers at, at local schools. Um, so yeah, three to four days a week, um, which is plenty, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely. Um, so what have we found to be the biggest challenges to us as a couple uh, and why? Definitely space. You know, for me, I'm used to being in the house a lot more often on my own, but now we have uh, the family home. We've got two teenage daughters, obviously myself and you, all at the house. Um, and so I find that any room I'm going into, it's busy, it's noisy, there's music on. And um, so I said to you this week, didn't I, that I just needed some time and I kind of aired my feelings. And Danny said, you know, half an hour later, we'd cleared out the shed. He, he took me to my new workstation and uh, I didn't care that it was the shed, it was the fact that I had a bit of space and nobody was allowed to come and get to me uh, while I was in there. And I still don't know whether that's because um, you wanted me to have that space or whether he was just desperate for me to get out of the house. Yeah, uh, for me things can be pretty busy and tense with three uh, females in the house so I do spend a fair bit of time in the greenhouse or out on my bike when possible. Hmm. What are the things that help us maintain a good relationship? Uh, like, like, like a lot of things, communication is absolutely vital, and particularly in times like this when uh, we're under a little bit more pressure in some ways. So that's, so that's a massive one for me. Um, good sense of humour. Uh, Louise learnt that uh, quite soon after we got married, that she needed a good sense of humour to be with me. Uh, and we're still working on that one. Uh, praying together, again, is really, really big. It's, it's huge for us. Um, and it's difficult to argue while you're praying together too. Um, and structure, structure in the day, particularly with teenage da daughters um, or, or children, I guess, of any age. Yeah, so structure in the day is, is really important, it's really helpful, and we are quite organised people anyway. Mm -hmm. So, so that's that's really good and beneficial for us. And we do need a lot of grace, don't we? We do. Uh, so. Do we think that a good relationship means we have to hang out all the time or can we have time on our own be helpful? Mm. I think it's really important to spend time together. We love being together, we go for walks, we love talking together, but equally we need that time apart, don't we? You know, we've both got unique skills and talents and it's important to be able to go and do our own thing. And even prior to lockdown, we're, the, we're a couple that enjoy being together, but we also do our own thing. So Danny will often go on fishing trips with his friends and I'm used to visiting my sister abroad. And it gives us things to talk about and it's really healthy for us. Yeah, I think so. Um, like I said, being apart, it, you know, it helps us to miss and recognise uh, how much we do love and care for one another um, and appreciate one another more once we return together. Yeah. So, do we have any top tips for surviving lockdown as a couple? Uh, we like to chat and dream and we like to plan for things that we're going to do when we come out of lockdown. So that's one for us. Yeah. And I know we've already talked about this, but definitely communicate, you know, tell each other how you're feeling. You know, this is a really unusual time and just being able to say how you feel. Some days, you know, you just might feel out of sorts or there might be worries or concerns and being able to talk about those things together is really important. Yeah, uh, and try and go easy on each other. It's quite a, like an intense time, so try and go easy on each other if you can, if we can. <laughs> And, you know, dream big and, and pray together, you know, that is crucial. It brings hope. And um, date nights. <laughs> yes, they're always great. So, you know, we hope that you have found this useful and, uh, you know, that uh, you can take something away from this. We're still learning as we go along on this journey as well. Um, but we're going to come through lockdown and we will all come through it together. So, uh, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it.